Well, I hit my ball. And went looking for, went looking for yours. I hit another ball again, and by then my hand was all... I remember thinking, because my hand was so swollen, thinking, how am I going to finish this round with my hand like this? Mm -hmm. and, then, and then, like, within a minute after that, I wasn't finishing anything. Yeah. <laughs> how, um... Have you ever been stung by bees before? Many times. Yeah? And yeah. you never had a reaction like that? Not like this. Yeah? No, not like this. Was it just because of the volume of it, did they say? Or did you No, I, I probably am allergic. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't been tested yet. I do have an EpiPen with me just in case. But, um, you know, I, they say that it, the more times you get stung, the more chances are that you can become allergic. So oh. Most likely I, I have an allergy, at least to that bee. I mean, I don't, maybe not all bees. Yeah. Do you... Um, when you first got stung, did you realize, like, quickly that you weren't going to be feeling badly, or you just thought it was like a swollen? Hand? No, I would have. I would have uh, started heading toward the clubhouse yeah. if I, I thought I was going to finish my round. Uh, the ambulance came. Uh, they were able to uh, take it from there. So, uh, very fortunate that there was quick response. Yeah. Have you ever dealt with a situation like this? With a not in person. I've had some training. Yeah. Um, but it's not uh, been very personal in the past. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is my first time, yeah. so I'm, I'm very glad that Dave's here today and uh, very glad to support my colleagues here and his colleagues as well. Yeah. Is the training, uh, like CPR training, required to work yes. here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I had some, but I had never really uh, had to spring into action. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you don't have to again. Um, and Tom, um, Scott was saying that you kind of recognize the symptoms of the allergy. Can you tell me about what you saw? Yeah, um, I asked him, he said, um, Dave said, I don't think I can play anymore. And I said, why? Because I thought his hand had swollen. Mm -hmm. which, you know, I got stung so many times, thinking that was going to be the case. And he said, uh, no, I, I'm just not feeling well. And once that came out of his mouth, he started to fall out of the cot. So I grabbed him, and then I knew, because about 10 years ago, when I was landscaping, I got stung by a bee in the eye, and I had the same type of reaction. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit different. Um, I wasn't on the 13th hole of the golf course. I was, you know, right near transportation and went to a little general. So I knew what, what was happening. I knew, his, I knew his, his, his throat was closing up. Um, and just trying to keep his airway open, keep him alert, um, you know, keep him with us, you know, because I was afraid he was just going to, stop and end up stop breathing and then you know then you'd have to do a full range of CPR and you know chest compressions and see you later ribs you know I um, you know and like you said if they were two or three minutes late God knows what would happen because I mean the breaths might have not even been in if his throat was so closed and you know mm -hmm. so it was yeah it was it was pretty hairy about how long was it from uh, the time you called 911 until the well medics got here? Tanisha was right there I mean she was right there and mm -hmm. we said you know once I saw him going to into shock, I was like, you gotta go call 911. She did that. Um, you know, it seemed like, to me, it seemed like a half an hour. It seemed like long. I don't know, it could have been only 15 minutes, if, you know what I mean? It just seemed to me it the last. Like forever to me. For yeah, me. I, I bet. Kept, yeah. I kept, I kept you know? waking up and then going back out again just, and waking up. And it's like, just tell him to hang in, you know, I was just telling him, me and Bob and John, just tell him to hang in there. And just try to try to try to stay alert you know I, I mean no one from my own experience you know you're in a total helpless state I and mean, your body is just going haywire you know and there's nothing you can do about it until you know the, the medical team gets on there and can give you that give you that shot um, and like I said they must have given me four or five and had them on oxygen they gave uh, it me was three adult it was one, one child every oh, minute. yeah so I had four before I even went to the hospital. And then the hospital, they put me on an epi drip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How long were you in the hospital for? Uh, I get out the next afternoon around four. Okay. So they kept me in uh, intensive care overnight just because they were afraid of a relapse, mm -hmm. which is as soon as the um, all the um, adrenaline wore off, it was possible that the venom might come back on me. But it didn't. 